Tech. In this video, I want to do an experiment. I want to test to see if a toroid core inductor can work as a jewel thief. It has windings around a iron core, similar to like a jewel thief. It has four leads like a jewel thief, and I can probably connect it to be able to make a jewel thief. So I want to see if that will work. So let's get started. I have right here a toroid inductor, two neodymium magnets, a dead battery, jumper cables, a 1k ohm resistor, an LED, and a 2N2222 NPN transistor, and some alligator clips, and a breadboard. Okay, so now I'm going to go and start building this circuit. I'm going to place my transistor and my LED, and my 1k ohm resistor, and it should look just like that. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to connect those two leads together, and then I want to be able to connect those other two leads to use to connect to the power. So I have right here my alligator clips. And what I want to do is I want to take these alligator clips, connect them both together. I want to connect that end and this end. And now I've connected the two together to connect to the positive of the battery and this here will connect to the negative of the battery this will be connected to the jumper cable and I'm going to connect that to the resistor that third connection that's on that inductor is connected to the resistor And this connection that's connected to the transistor goes onto that blank lead that's on the inductor. Now I'm taking another jumper cable and connecting the other side of the transistor. And connecting the neodymium magnet to connect to the negative of the battery. Now let's go ahead and test it out. Oh, and there you have it. It works. So a toroid core inductor can easily work as a jewel thief. Now let's go ahead and test it with the multimeter and see how much power I have in the battery. And as you can see, it's about 0.8 volts. Very low power but it's able to power the LED, which is great. Now, as you can see, I've already marked this toroid core, showing that the DP stands for direct positive, the R means connects to the resistor, and then those two lines means those two leads are connected together. So by just following that, that allows me to be able to create the Jewel Thief circuit with using that toroid core inductor. So there you have it. You can actually use a toroid core inductor and use it as a jewel thief. This can be very useful for future projects or maybe artistic projects. Not really sure, but you can do some interesting things with this. So there you have it. 
Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech. Goodbye.